Now I know we've all been there before. We've had family members and friends come over and we've tried to connect new devices to our wireless network. And each time we do that, we have to go look up what our wireless network names are and what the passwords are that are associated with those wireless networks. This is a big nuisance for a lot of us. So wouldn't it be easier rather than just going and looking up that information every time you needed to provide somebody with your wireless network name and password, wouldn't it be easier to just have networks that you created yourself along with passwords that you know offhand and can provide to any guests coming to the home? Let me answer that one for you. The answer is absolutely yes. And this is even more of a no-brainer when you realize that this takes probably five minutes or less to set your own wireless network names and passwords in your home. So in this episode from Network From Home today, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to go into your router settings and change the wireless network names and passwords of your Wi-Fi networks in your home network. So there are a few things you need in order to go about setting up your wireless network names and passwords. The first and most important thing is you need to be currently on the Wi-Fi network of your router that you're going to change. This means, essentially, if you're going to be changing the wireless network names and passwords of the router in your home, you need to be connected to that network. You can't do these steps remotely away from your home you need to be connected to the wireless network of the router that you're going to make these settings changes on. If you're just getting set up with your router and you're not sure what your wireless network names and passwords currently are, there are a few different possibilities here. The first is that if you're renting your router from your internet service provider, they probably provided you with some sort of card or a notification that details that information. Alternatively, if you bought your own router, chances are there's an informational sticker on it that explains what the default wireless network names are. So here I have mine, for example. There's a sticker on the bottom of the device. And let's see if I can get a close-up here to show you what the default wireless network names are for my router, just so you have a reference. Okay, so here we are right here. You can see SSID, that's just another term for wireless network. So you have two wireless networks here. This top one is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network. The bottom one is the five gigahertz wireless network for this dual band router. Those are your default networks. And you can also see here, wireless password pin. Here's the Wi-Fi password for your two default wireless networks that come with the router. Okay, the last thing you need here is just any sort of device that you can access an internet browser. You could use a tablet, you could use a laptop, you could even use your phone if you would like. Okay, so now that we have everything we need, let's get in there, let's access our router settings and make the changes that we need to to the wireless network names and the passwords for those wireless networks. All right, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to open up an internet browser. Here I have an incognito window, but feel free to pick any browser you want. The next thing we want to do is we want to access and log into our router settings. You can do that by entering the IP address of your router. As a side note here, I've previously made a video about how to log into your router settings. So if you're not completely sure about how to do that, or you have some questions about how to log into your router settings, I recommend you check out that video. But at this point, I'll assume you know how to get to your router settings. So for me, I just need to enter the IP address of my router which is 192.168.0.1. This will bring me to my login page, as you'll see here. I'm now going to log into my router settings. So go ahead and do that now. 
Okay, now that we're in our router settings, we just need to get to the wireless network settings. Another thing to note here is that depending upon the make and model of your router, this screen or this interface might look a little bit different for you. But with that said, the general settings of almost every router is the same. So let me show you how to get to my wireless network settings and yours will likely be very similar. For me, it's not very difficult here. We just want to go over here to the wireless settings and this will take us to everything we need to see. Okay, and honestly, it's as simple as that. As you can see here, I have a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network and a five gigahertz wireless network, and I can configure them to be completely separate if I would like. For example, I can make this my Wi-Fi one. I can make this my Wi-Fi two. Honestly, a best practice here is I would name them the same thing, but just have a different frequency identifier. So for example, my Wi-Fi 2G, my Wi-Fi 5G. That way you won't get confused by your different wireless networks. They'll have the same name. The only differences will be that identifier at the end, 2G and 5G. You can also set these wireless networks to have different passwords. So it can be password one, two, three, password four, five, six. Honestly, another best practice here is I usually just give them the same password, especially if you have a device where you're going to be jumping from the different wireless networks, depending upon where you are in the house or the current internet activity you're partaking in that can all affect the different wireless network that you choose. And for me, it's just easier to remember if they have the same password. Another side note here, if you're not sure about when you should be using your 2.4 gigahertz wireless network and when you should be using your five gigahertz wireless network, I've made another video that goes through those different frequencies and explains when you would wanna use each one. So that might be worth checking out as well. But this is really all you need to do. Once you make your changes, you just need to hit this save button. Your router might reboot or it might take a few seconds for these changes to take effect. But once you make these Wi-Fi network names, whatever you want them to be and you hit save, soon you'll see them pop up and you'll be able to connect to them with the password that you choose. All right, see, that wasn't so bad, was it? In just a few minutes, you can go and make changes to your wireless network names and passwords so you don't have to spend any time in the future looking up what they are, trying to remember what your wireless network password is. If you choose a password that you know you won't forget and you use wireless network names that are either familiar to you or have personal meaning so you won't forget them, it just makes things so much easier moving forward when managing your wireless networks. If you have any questions about this information, please feel free to drop a comment below and we'll see if we can get you squared away. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. This will enable it to get shared with other people who might be looking for the same sorts of tips or hints for their wireless network. If this type of video or this type of information is interesting to you or you find it useful, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be making a ton more content similar to this moving forward, and you'll likely pick up more tips and tricks that enable you to better handle your wireless networks moving forward. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.